When you think about it, national anthems are kind of a weird concept. I mean, why a specific song, and why specifically a specific song to represent the whole nation? Sure, the national unity at important events and sports games is nice, but not all of us have good singing voices, as seen here. The but I digress. So what was the first true national anthem, and what is the oldest still in use today? Well, in the grand scheme of nations and empires, national anthems are actually kind of a new concept, with most only dating back to the 19th century at most. However, while national anthems may now be popular because of Europe and all the colonialism stuff, what may be the oldest national anthem in the world, and indeed the oldest still in use, is actually the national anthem of Japan. Kimigayo, meaning His Imperial Majesty's Reign, was written as a poem by an unknown author from sometime during the Heian period, which basically means anywhere between the years 794 and 1185, though even the latest date would make it the oldest national anthem in the world. Or, well, technically at least, but we'll get into that in a second. Kimigayo, which you're of course hearing the instrumental version of right now, is also one of the shortest anthems out there, being literally only 32 characters long in Japanese. The song, which is essentially praise to the Japanese emperor wishing them a long and happy life, was adopted as the anthem of the Japanese Empire in 1888, though it was disbanded from 1945 to 1999 for empire reasons. JJ McCullough goes into a bit more detail on this in his second video about national anthems. But why only in 1888? Well, the one caveat here that lets me make a longer video out of this is that Kimigayo was written as a poem, not a song. Therefore, it only had the music added onto it in the year 1880, possibly nearly a thousand years after it was first written. So, in a sense, it only really truly counts as the oldest lyrics to any national anthem in the world. In terms of actual songs, there are actually a few more contenders for that such position. Okay, well, what's another choice for us? Well, another song often cited as the world's oldest anthem is Hetfield Helmus from the Netherlands. The song was written during the Dutch Revolt, either in or just before the year 1572, when the Dutch were deciding that they didn't really like being a part of Spain. The song, which also had music added onto it at around the same time it was written, was written from the viewpoint of William I, Prince of Orange, often said to be the father of the Dutch nation. The song describes William's personal struggles to be loyal to the King of Spain without being unfaithful to his conscience or his nation. Prince William was the Stadtholder of the Netherlands under King Philip II of Spain, which is basically kind of the equivalent of a governor under this rule. However, there's another caveat coming, which is that Hetfield Helmus, although dating back to the 16th century and having always been popular among the Dutch, was not made the official national anthem of the Netherlands until 1932. God damn it. Okay, so we already got two answers, but maybe not very satisfying answers to those who want national anthems that already had music and were actually their country's national anthems at the time. Well, you're still in luck. Obviously, I mean, we are over 200 to choose from, at least one of them's gotta be pretty old by now. Well, another national anthem that has a pretty good claim to fame in this regard is God Save the Queen, slash, King, which was adopted by the United Kingdom to be its national anthem in the year 1745, long after Kim il and Wilhelmus were written, but still a good deal before they were officially adopted, if you want to jump into that though. I also talked more about this song in a previous video, which you should, like, totes check out. It isn't quite known when it was actually written, but it first appeared in a songbook from 1744 and subsequently became quite popular in Britain. Its original lyrics, however, didn't just honor the King of England, but specifically King George II, the then ruling monarch of Britain, also known by Brits as the guy before the crazy guy, and by us Americans as the guy before the crazy guy we won a war against. One little known fact about the anthem is that there was actually a Republican version of the anthem written in 1794 by American and Frenchman Joel Barlow, which actually honored the liberating power of the guillotine. Yes, nothing more liberating than finally being relieved of that pesky annoying head of yours. Or the monarchy. Obviously, this wasn't the most important thing I could have told you just now, just a funny side note that I just learned writing the script. However, we haven't even considered historical anthems yet, of which there is yet another contender. The old Polish hymn, oh, for the hymn Bogorod, Bog, Bergerotica, was composed sometime between the 10th and the 13th centuries, and was actually sang by Polish knights before the Battle of Glynfods in 1410. However, since national anthems weren't exactly much of a thing yet, the song was kind of more of a patriotic hymn that was closely associated with Poland. Bogorodzica was actually considered as the candidate for the national anthem of the new Poland, created in 1918 out of the ashes of the Russian and German empires, though it was far from the only choice, with the anthem status eventually going to the current anthem, Mazurek Dąbrowskiego. So, what is the oldest national anthem in the world? Well, it's not all that clear if there even is a single winner, so it really depends on what category you want. Kimigayo by lyrics, Hetfield Helmus by actual songs, 
God Save the Queen or King by actually being the official anthem, or the Star Spangled Banner by anthems of the United States named the Star Spangled Banner. It's kind of a short list, but still. I know it's probably rather unsatisfying that there isn't one true answer to this question, but it's important to keep in mind that anything that doesn't have an exception is the exception to the rule whenever it comes to studying anything made by humans. Humans are dumb sometimes. But what even is a national anthem? And what truly counts for this list? Kime Geo is absolutely a worthy mention to this list, but it's kind of difficult to give it the spot outright, primarily due to its surprising initial lack of actually being a song. So which song truly counts? Be sure to argue about it in the comments below, honestly though, you probably already have. Thank you as always for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and also be sure to bell me. Ah, really? Again? <sighs> okay, well, and also, please be sure to pledge your support on Patreon, like all these great people right here, to help us all learn something new every Sunday.